And we return once again into the deck of cards of Hand of Fate. And we are playing for the second uh, artifact. Uh, it seems like a staff or something. I don't like a wand or I don't know. <laughs> The Jack of Skills. Two curses. Mana drain. Cooldown times for weapons and artifacts are doubled. Jeez. And last man standing. In every combat, the last enemy alive can no longer be stunned or interrupted. That's... Hmm. Great. The Jack of Skills. Their latent magical abilities make these lizardmen feared by all. Even their own kind. The suit of scales are represented by these lizard men. Quiet, patient, lethally subtle and calmly intelligent. Of all the creatures I have incarnated as suits, these please me the most. I right. have taken one of my scepters, but now we begin to play in earnest. My scepter is at oh, sight, and I do not intend to lose it. All right. So he is going to give it this all, basically, because he doesn't want to lose his scepter. Now, show me what you got. Show me what you got. Scales. I have saved the lizard men for now, but the stakes have been raised. There is no weapon I will not use against you. Ambertown Hero. A quest that may lead you down many paths. Towards jealously guarded secrets. Interesting. You come across an injured adventurer who is battered and bloody armor. Tells you he's seen combat recently. I've been chasing a pack of thieves that attacked my home village of Ambertown. I killed some of them in an ambush, but I fear I lack the strength to chase the rest down. If you have any honor, you will find those jackals and make them pay. Huh. Ah, Mr. Lionel. Now, we do have a shield. That's why we got food the last time. Um, let's ask him what he needs. The goblin immediately begins to wander around your person, prodding and poking at your weapons and apparel before making a sudden grab at something. Hey, don't steal that. He stole my axe! He then sits considering you for a while before slapping the table with his hand. Aha, I know what you need. Mr. Leon reaches behind your ear and pulls out the money bag, heavy with coins. Magic is believing in yourself. If you can do that, you can make anything happen. Dear Dress, you four gold game cards. Fifteen gold. Fifteen gold. Three gold. Fifteen gold. I mean, we're rich now, but we don't have a weapon. <laughs> oh, we do have a weapon. Oh, we had an axe, and now we get a rusty axe. Okay. Well, that's not great, but you know. What do you do? Embertown hero. Let's find out what type of character you really are. You have caught up with the Embertown village raiders who call out, Stay your hand, adventurer, and we shall will share the spoils with you. Of course not. We are a noble hero who don't deal with thieving scum. You don't want to ask their gods for more mercy than you were about to show them. Jeez. It's just a three of dust. I mean, we can take this on even with a rusty axe. Oh, we're in a tavern or some kind? Yeah. Cool. Oh, and there's all rats and bugs and. Ah. And we want to smash the ta chairs and tables, apparently. Hey, this is easy. I, I know you can hear me mashing my mouse button, but that's basically the only way to attack these guys. It's, uh, yeah. I mean, eh, you can do that, but then it won't combo. Oh, I should have paid more attention. <laughs> there we go. Easy enough. Let's claim that's token. You carefully turn out these pockets and we get some food. Some more food. 
And five, oh, five max health. Nice. After Archie, you turn to tell the hero of Embertown of your success. He gestures for you to come closer. In silence, he hands you a jeweled ring and then dies. You put the, <laughs> you put the ring away to identify, uh, identify later and bury the fallen champion. Fallen champion. Here is your token. Thank you. Well done. Oh, the guy's dead. I wouldn't say well done, but you know. It's better than trudging along a muddy road. Certainly. I appreciate your efforts. Traveling healer. I worked hard on this game. It is a pleasure to see you play. A ship at dock is worth nothing until it sails. Oh, there's treasure chest again. This has helped us in, in the past a great many times, so... Let's try again here. Choose from these. I think it's this one. There we go. Nice, no gas strap. And uh, now we still need to open it, but it's a 3 to 1 chance, I believe, yeah. Okay, this one isn't, definitely. <laughs> there we go, 4 game cards, 40 gold, jeez. 10 gold, we're rich. 15 gold, 20 gold, dude, we are so rich right now. <laughs> if you find the, the Culling Redman card, we are so set. Ooh, the White Council. Very Again, interesting. A token is at stake. As dusk settles, you arrive at a small village known as Lesser Dimsgate. The locals are gathered at a shabby looking inn. Something must be done, shouts a voice, raised in anger. They took all our gold and food, one peasant wails. Will nobody stand up to them? Uh, you sure we offer to help? They went that way, not an hour ago. You easily catch up with the band of ruffians. They seem overly confident and are in no rush. As you approach, the one who seems to be their leader notices you. Kill him, he commands, gesturing towards you. He looks like a troublemaker. Two of dust, three of dust. And is that all? Bring it on. Kind of sucks that we still only have this rusty axe, though. If we can get a better weapon, we uh, Oh, propose we get them as soon as possible. Ah! Stop throwing shit at me. I do not enjoy such things. Oh, he <laughs> he stepped into a trap there. You see that? <laughs> <laughs> he just keeps stepping up in the, tra in the traps. I mean, go oh, he just died in the trap. <laughs> yes. <laughs> go right where your buddy just died, man. <laughs> just keep walking in it. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, oh, never mind then. <laughs> I thought we have to dodge this one, but... Didn't realize we were uh, at the last guy already. He gathered the stone supplies and returned to the villagers, saying, Those bandits will trouble you no longer. Oh, they weren't bandits, the child explains. They walked to the White Council. It was our turn to give tribute. Oh. Well, they probably won't mind, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> Down once more, seeking the heart of it all. Yes. What brings you to play the game? Ha, that I know you will not tell me. Uh, the rest. There's some treasure in silent. here. Let's attempt to take him by surprise. Oh, I didn't know it was. Uh. This one? No. Sad. You're spotted as you approach. Okay, four skulls isn't bad. We can do that. Oh, there's lots of traps here. Kiss me. Now you have to kiss me. Actually, don't kiss me. That's pretty yucky with those bones. 
Ah, uh, all dodging away behind the shields. Annoying. All right. Broke his arm with a shield on it. <laughs> Ow. What? See, he only has one arm. <laughs> there we go. That guy's dead. Okay. Broke his shield too. And his bones, I guess. And there you go. Get out of here. Easy enough. Why oh, do you have a shield? A and strong a left shield. arm is as important as a strong right arm, after all. Medium armor. Yes, please. Really? Is that what you're going to do? Yes. Ooh, stranger in the shadows. Aha! The Count enters the picture. The Count? On a dark moonless night, that down a lonely road, you encounter a hooded stranger. Greetings, friend. I am in need of some... sustenance. Would you be willing to offer some of your vigor in exchange for gold? He asks, he asks, taking out a bag of coins. Uh, sure. The stranger moves with unnatural speed to grasp you firmly and bite at your throat. How? <laughs> After a few seconds, he releases you. Oh, it's only 10 health. Thank you. He says, handing you some gold as, a re as you regain your composure. I'm not yet sated. Would you like to earn more gold? Yeah. <laughs> Mortal, you seem unusually willing to give up your blood for material gain. The stranger goes on to tell you a tale of secret blood auctions and where they may be found. This card's token is now ours. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> okay, let's regain some health here by stepping aside a couple of times. Oh, hey, nice. Now we can remove the Redman Hunting Party. Pushed back and forth by the whims of nobility or power. Pay the Duke 50 gold. A wise decision. I shall begin a campaign at, against these filthy rats immediately. Also, you may take this blade. With my mercenary army, I will need to rely on it to protect me. A rat cleaver. Rats have so few friends amongst mankind, yet the two have lived in close proximity throughout the ages and are more similar than either would care to admit. Hits against Redman inflict double damage. Dang. Uh, yeah, it's better than my own. Token is so. yours. Let us see what you do with your new you, found you, abilities. <laughs> Traveling Tinker. Uh, yeah, sure, let's see what he has. I mean, we have the gold. <laughs> Armor of cold, frost fang, false gold, feathered ice. During combat, press E to create a blast of freezing ice centered on the adventure. Um, this is only light armor, which is why I'm not gonna take it. I like this one though. What will you do with that? I'm going to use it to freeze my opponents. Actually, I mean, what are you going to do with it? Hitch a ride. A horse is a fine companion. I'm sure you'll leave this one in time. You do not see the have a temperament for friends, even in the animal kingdom. Why is this guy gotta be so rude, man? Buy items. A ring of poverty. When this ring is sold, all the player's gold is lost, but the player receives one max health for every five gold. <laughs> That's a lot of extra health for me, but I don't I don't think I need it. Life's limb. That's to inflict a curse of weakening on enemies close to you, strike a cursed enemy for bonus damage. And no. All weapon attacks are enhanced with a power of poison that taints victims' mind and body. Uh I mean we already have a, a thing, so No, there's nothing really here that I want.
Oh, the devil's choice again. I... Though I admire his ilk, I live by very different rules. Um. The thing is, let's just choose this one. Okay, he's going to level to live. I think because if if he does think you're a mighty hero, he gives you just he just gives you the two two other cards. So this was the best option because uh, I would have got four either way. But I have a bonus now because I of course use the rat believer, which does double damage on the rats. So. That's helpful. There you go. See, they're all dead already. <laughs> Didn't have to do much for that. One game card. Jeez. You gave me three last time. Local peasant. Hungry mouths. War leaves nothing else. While crossing a forest clear, you meet a peasant woman. Okay, I can't do a woman's voice. I'm half a cold. <laughs> Greetings, stranger. The winter has been hard on my family this year. In the forest behind her, you sense movement. In exchange for some food, I will tell you everything I know about these lands. Yeah, let's give her just let's just give her food. Woman takes your food eagerly, passing it to some children who suddenly rush from the forest, hands outstretched. You have given us enough food to survive the winter, stranger. And she retrieves a sack from behind a bush. This was my husband's before he died. Please accept it as a thanks. One equipment card. Oh jeez. <laughs> okay, fleet cuffs. Movement speed increased. I guess that's alright. While the children eat, the woman speaks at length of what she has seen and heard recently. Oh, it shows us the other cards. I mean, there was no really no real need for that. No. A winding trail. An ambush. Hardly fair, is it? Ooh. Ah, no. Fourth dozen two of skills. I mean, the skills are new. But we should be able to take them on. It's only six enemies and the dusts aren't that strong. Oh, those are the lizard men. Look, they have shields. That's an uh, Ow, I just stepped into a trap. Okay, I might have made a mistake here. Uh, hello? Oh, jeez, they spit fire. Oh no, only he does. He's a fire lizard. Get him! Get him! Okay, actually he was going to counter attack, so don't, don't kill him. <laughs> Come on! Oh, no, oh, oh, come on, come on. The fire attack is really fast, jeez. Okay, he's dead, good. He was probably the, the hardest enemy to defeat. Or, no, this one's the hardest to defeat, but the other uh, had fire. Uh, yeah, come. Freeze! Okay, he didn't freeze. Bad. We need to get behind him, which is annoying, because otherwise he'll just use a shield. Come on. Freeze! Freeze! Okay, that didn't work. Oh, there. <laughs> I think I pressed the wrong button for the freeze. <laughs> um, explorer's helmet or the huge hammer? Yeah, hey, let's give us a huge hammer. Old reliable rears his ugly head again. I mean, yeah, but it's thirty-five damage. Course, killing their leader is a fine way to provoke them. <laughs> I guess I I suppose that is true. <laughs> I would also be angry if my leader was killed. I don't have a leader though, but you know. If I was a rat. Which I am not.
Bam. Oh, he blocked my attack, or he interrupted it more. Jeez, stop throwing shit at me. That hurt. Now you die. They're ugly as fuck, man. <laughs> Jeez. One food. Nice. A little food. Not a great change, but enough to switch the odds a little. Did you expect me to tell your fortune? No. A fortune Batman teller scorch. is at their most base and despicable when they begin to believe their own Two lies. <laughs> uh, give us a real challenge. I am different. My powers are genuine. Ow. <laughs> Pushovers. <laughs> they were really easy, jeez. Five food. More food. Bandit attack. We don't need all this. Bandit, eh? Make eh? an enemy of one, and you've made an enemy of all. I mean, I figured out his. I figured. I figured out his identity. He's Canadian. He says A. We meet Ooh, the Jack. Again. The Jack. Did you think him done before? Oh no! Shuffled back into the deck to rise again to the top. <laughs> as are we. I mean. Is this even a challenge? Whoa, look at me. Look at that sick dodge. Did I just one shot at that guy? <laughs> I think I just one shot that guy. <laughs> Bomb! Right in your face. Get down. Bomb! <laughs> Die. <laughs> Kill them with my shield. Yeah, we know this. All right. A helpful priest again, eh? Oh, fine, we'll give him all of our food. Please, huge success. Yes! Wrath of the Old Gods again, nice. nice and Will of the Gods, too. At the start of each combat, a random opponent is highlighted. If that creature is the first to die, it pops out five gold. Oh, nice. Ladder escape. Uh, sure. The lizard men are nothing if not patient. He waits for you. Heroes remains. You pass a funeral. It's obvious from the size of the procession that the deceased was a well loved figure. You are approached by the cleric. This great hero fell defending our beloved town of Wondermare. His sword and shield are powerful artifacts. Must, must we return to his hometown for proper burial rites to be completed? Will you do this, traveler? I don't see why not. Thank you. This will mean the world to his family. The town would have revolted had these artifacts not been returned. That is that is a fairly, a fairly intense turn of events. It is not far to the hero's hometown. Look for the town clerk when you get there. Viking blade. Ooh. Such an elegant use of rage and anger. You I wouldn't mean, expect it of the barbarian hordes. No, you're not going to equip it. Oh, that's a nice shield. Uh, we 
Yeah, let's sure just that's the right let's just, uh, equip it and hurry. It is not wise to anger the spirits of the dead by delaying their proper rights. Oh, that's a curse. Heavy burden. Ah, <laughs> let us see how you progress with that millstone around your neck. Of course, you can remove your curses at shops if you can find them. Still, I'm keen to see how you handle your disadvantages. After five step player loses fifty percent max health. Jeez. Okay, here's return is there. Okay, so there that's where we're going. <laughs> Devil's Carnival. At its heart, these travelling shows are but mockeries of the true mysteries. One day, just as dusk Carthus gathers, you reach a large country town hosting a travelling circus. Strange sights and stranger smells confront you as you begin to wander between the tents and stalls that were once brightly coloured, but now are faded and stained with dust. Peasants and nobles alike wander the streets and alleys, past wonders and amazements, seeming almost dazed. There is something about the place that dulls your senses, and for a while you forget your quest, forget even the path that brought you to this place. Oh boy. Oh no! Oh, that's bad. <laughs> Sensing a hidden malice about the place, you turn and try to find your way back out of town. You somehow lose your way and end up heading further into the crowds. The mysteries of the carnival await you. Oh no. <laughs> okay, it was the last one. There we go, your success, okay. You wander into a hall of curiosities. You pass rows of preserved bodies, some born mutants at birth, other simply creatures that you've never seen before. You continue to browse under their lifeless stairs. Among ancient devices and broken trinkets, you come across the torn remnants of an enchanted map. Upon closer inspection, you realize that it reveals some of the surrounding countryside. Okay, there's the jack. Alright. Sometime later, you find yourself standing at the edge of a forest, the sounds of the crowds behind you. Day is just dawning, but which day? Looking back, you see the ruined buildings of a country town, long ago abandoned. Okay, that's spooky. Oh, we don't get the token? Aww. Traveling mage. Uh, I don't think you can remove our curse, but... Uh, I mean, it's a good shop. I mean, we have 75 gold. We can check. Dragon Ring. Plunderous Cap. Damoclaz. Hag's Wraps. Uh, yeah. That's the Hag's Wraps. Rather than the other ones we have. Yes. Okay, let's return the weapons. Look, look deeply. You reach this is the fate of heroes. You reach Wondermare, Wonder Mare, hometown of the dead adventurer. The town cleric meets you at the gate. He appears to have been standing vigil. Return the hero's sword. Thank you. This blade will once again be wielded in righteous fury. Do you also have a shield? If you do. Truly, you have done the Almighty's work in returning this shield. Thank you. Blessed are we who, protected, can fell those who trespassed against us. Two blessing cards. I think we lose our curse as well. Yeah. Many and of these blessings are too good for the likes of you. Retribution. Whenever the player is struck by a ranged attack, there's a chance that the attacker will be stunned. Nice. You have done blessed work this day. For your services, we will prepare for you a sacred artifact that you may continue your good work through the dark days ahead. Token. This is the only card we don't know. Dead Man's Gorge. I'm Probably sure an ambush. It's not yeah. Dead Man's Gorge without reason. Six of Plague. Oh well, we should be able to deal with that. Oh, look at all the stuff in our way. Get out! Get out! Bomb! <laughs> Die, vermins! <laughs> I 
Whop! With a shield. Nice. Oh, I think my phone went off. I'm sorry. Two game cards. Just one scrap of food here. Hmm. So sad. Uh, we can get the token of this card, don't we? Can't we? As you plunder the secrets of your memory, uh, follow. You gain new cards. Interrupt. Some okay. You, wish you'd left you burst forth from your hiding place and plead with the assembled crowd not to go through with whatever bizarre ritual they are engaged in, but you get no, but you gain no support. The leader eventually speaks above the crowd. If this man is so adamant that one of our own should not be sent to the underworld, then perhaps he should go himself. You are immediately seized by the crowd and pushed towards the portal. Try as you might, they are too strong for you and you cannot escape. You stumble and fall to the portal. Oh damn. <laughs> you fall to the ground with only a gen gentle jolt. You find yourself in a forest that bears a most striking resemblance to where you just were, but there are two very significant differences. The crowd of Ask onlookers are gone, and the sky burns with bright red flames. One of Out of the sulfur and flames emerge foul hell beasts. Four of hell! Oh hell's blazes! <laughs> what did we do? This is a... <laughs> I don't think this was a wise decision. Oh look, everything is on fire too! Ah -ha! Oh dear. Um... Oh look, they're, oh, they're lava rats or whatever. <laughs> they look really cool actually. They look confused with lava. That's the fourth one? Oh, oh, the thunder got him, right. Actually, they don't seem that bad. Ow. See, they're already dead. They look really cool, though. That's a cool design. I like that. After you destroy the last Hellbeast, the portal steers back into life. You are lifted off your feet and sucked into the vortex, before being deposited back into the leafy forest where you were ejected from earlier. God's token is ours. Take it. Ooh. Well, interesting. Uh, we're not going to do the Redman hunting party, where would we? The Jack of Skills. Now, a fight for the ages. I expect greatness. This lizardman's potency allows him to nullify the damage, nullify the magical abilities of the player's weapons and artifacts. Let us take Rude. A their <laughs> huh. That's bad. <laughs> Luckily, we have a powerful weapon as well. Four of skills. Ah. Oh wow! He has a powerful tool. So, can he, like, stop this? Apparently not. <laughs> oh, that tail is really dangerous. The hammer should be able to break through the shield, to be honest. Oh, look at that. Oh, he's... He's, <laughs> he's damaging his own man. Stunning him. There you go. Come on, die, die, die. Okay, that's one. Wait, we're in the four. Oh, right, the thunder. <laughs> Keep forgetting about the thunder we have. He has a very powerful shield. <laughs> Just keeps killing his own guys. Oh, watch it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and stun him. Stun him. Oh, watch it. Should be almost dead. Can't have had can't have much health left left. Oh, watch it. Come on. 
die. Okay, he's dead. Now this guy. Okay, here we go. Next guard. Suck it, mage. <laughs> hmm. Well played. Well played indeed. Setter. You have defeated something that I never expected to die. At the start of your adventure, you gain equipment, gain an equipment card. You start with more food, <laughs> starting upgraded, upgraded strength increased for retmen and bandits and lizardmen. The wand represents my will in the purest sense. It is not too late for you to give up now. Go peacefully to your fate and leave me to mine. You no man, I'm to winning. <laughs> a credible deck. Let us see what happens next. For defeating the bandits who looted Ember Town, we receive the Ring of Justice. Of Justice, I say. Uh White Council. For helping the people of Lesser Dimsgate, you receive the White Council too. Very creative. For trading so enthusiastically with a stranger in the shadows, you receive blood auction. For killing the Ratman, Ratman hunting is unlocked and you receive the Rat Cleaver. For feeding a local peasant woman, you receive map card and the Great Helm of Reinforcement. <laughs> Sounds funny. For returning the belongings of the dead of the hero of Wonder Mary, you receive Holy Order, 10 gold per blessing, and a war cry. Artifact. For venturing into the underworld, you receive Alicia in the underworld. For defeating the Jack Lizardman Jack, you receive Queen of Skulls, Massa Ore, Dark Ritual. And the Holy Force Forge. And finally, for refeeding the Lizardman Jack, you receive Hernie's Atlas and Undead Bane. Halfway done. Let us continue. And that's gonna be it for today. The halfway point has been reached. We have defeated half of his minions. See you next episode, guys. Stay tasty.